today we're gonna do the impossible. We're gonna carbonate milk. Moo, I'm a cow. <laughs> Wait, dude, aren't you lactose intolerant? Yeah. So I saw some videos online of people that actually tried to carbonate milk, but it never really works. They all tend to use a soda stream, which shoots CO2 into the milk, and it ends up just foaming over and making this huge mess. It also apparently tastes terrible. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever put in my mouth in, you know, ever. And it honestly got me thinking if it's even possible to make milk soda. So after spending a few weeks brainstorming, I think I came up with something that might work. But first, I wanted to try the method I saw online so that I'd have something to compare it to. Also, I chose 1% milk because I figured it had the least chance of curdling. Just noticing here, there's actually a warning that says to only carbonate water. Should be fine, right? Yeah, we'll be okay. All right, uh, here we go. I think that's as much as I can get in there. Yeah, I think so. Give it a whirl. Oh, f Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, let's try it out. Oh, oh my god, it's so thick. <laughs> Dude, it's like sour milk. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So I think we can safely say that this does not work. This is terrible. This is really bad. I don't feel good, Zach. Yeah. So as I saw online, this method clearly didn't work, which means my idea was the only thing I had left if I wanted to make the impossible milk soda. <laughs> All right, now we can continue. <laughs> so my theory is that everyone that uses this soda stream method is trying to put the CO2 into the milk. But I was thinking, what if you try to put the milk into the CO2? Let me show you. So my idea is to use this club soda, which is basically just already carbonated water, but I'm gonna add some milk powder to the carbonated water. And my thinking is that by avoiding injecting the already liquid milk with CO2 and using it in its powder form, it would almost be like flavoring the water. Club soda. Put that in there. That should be good. Oof, my stomach is still messed up. Yeah? Um, Wanna take a break? Anyway. Um, and then we gotta use this. I've actually never used uh, milk powder That's before, the first I hear of it. But I really think that this is gonna work. Are you going, going for a look? Smell this. Oh man, it's very perfumey. I think this is like a tablespoon. This is milk. Should I do it? A little lick. It kind of tastes like cheese, like Parmesan cheese. We're gonna make some cheese water, apparently. <laughs> See, it's mixing nicely. All right, so let's mix this, mix this in. Oh my God, dude, look Holy at that. Holy crap. Look at that. It looks like a beer. <laughs> I, do you see these chunks? I don't know if you can see this. I'm trying to get it in the camera. Yeah. Do you think I should add more? Yeah, definitely add more. That should be fine. Okay. It actually looks pretty good. The, the, that's some good foam action. <laughs> I'm just getting foam. <laughs> I need to like scoop out the foam. <laughs> One second. Does it taste milky? Mmm. No? I want to blow it. <laughs> is it is it fizzy at least? Has it does it has it achieved the desired effect? I need another sip. I really want to say it's good, but it kind of just tastes the same as the other one. Really? Try this. Come here, give me this. Why is it sweet? It's like sweet, it's sour. I can't stomach it. Um, yeah. 
Well, I guess at the end of the day, what we learned is that if you try to add CO2 or carbonation to milk, or you try to add something like milk powder to the carbonation, you just kind of end up with the same thing. And I think at the end of the day, even if it's not the result that we wanted, there was still some science that happened today. We still had some fun. And, uh... <laughs> Shit. Like and subscribe.